Zara made almost $20 billion in revenue last year, out of which 25% came from their online store. Yet, I'm going to show you how they could be making even more money if they were to build a more targeted and optimized homepage like the one that you can actually build with Thrive Suite. First, let's actually take a look at how Zara's homepage is currently set up. As you can see right off the bat, upon arriving on Zara, we are presented with a background section that's made up of a video. In case you're wondering, you can actually do this very easily with Thrive Architect uh, by inserting a background section on your page and setting a video as your background. Now, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to do what they're actually doing in this hero section. We're looking at a video of someone trying to grab a moon. I I'm not really sure what the message behind this video is. I'm not really sure uh, what I'm supposed to be doing in this hero section either. I mean, from a customer perspective, uh, just by looking at this hero section, I'm a little bit lost. There isn't a crystal clear call to action. And most importantly, I'm not even being presented with any product whatsoever. This hero section literally goes against everything that we are proponents of here at Thrive Themes. So let's actually build that really quick, a rock solid homepage that could take Sara's website onto a whole new level. And we're going to do so, of course, using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. You're going to see that I pretty much built out the homepage from scratch, but even then I still like to power through the Thrive Theme Builder wizard. The Thrive Theme Builder wizard lets me wireframe my entire website. I'm going to be picking out templates for each of my website's elements, one for my header, one for my footer, and you know, one for my homepage, my blog, and so forth and so on. It's important that you pick out templates that are somehow similar in structure to the design that we're going after for our pages. You're gonna see that this is really going to make your life easier when you're ready to work on your homepage because you're not going to have to start creating structures from scratch. All right, so let's get to building. One of the main issues that Sara's website has compared to that of many other e-commerce stores is that it's not very intuitive to navigate around. The sandwich menu is a little bit hidden and the main hero section is made up of a slider that is kind of very distracting. So we're gonna fix this by coming up with a crystal clear header that makes it super easy to access all areas of our website. As you can see, since I powered through the Thrive Theme Builder wizard, I already have my WooCommerce elements as well as my logo and navigation menu in my header. Now I just need to reorder these in whatever way I'd like. Um, I do like to keep headers minimal, but I do want them to be useful at the same time. So fitting everything in one row is kind of ideal for me. As for the hero section, I just wanna make sure that I'm hitting three main checkpoints. The first one is to showcase some product. The better our image assets are, the better the hero section will turn out. If you're doing an e-commerce store, it's crucial that you try to budget for great photo shoots. This isn't the best shot, for example, let's face it, the lady's body is getting chopped off in half. So try not to chop off people's bodies if you're doing, if you're doing e-commerce. And um, something that I like to do is to add a little bit of a gradient on top of the background image to make the text a little bit easier on the eyes. The second checkpoint that you want to hit is to make sure that your message is clear. In this case, I am talking to women and I'm letting them know that we have new products for them to explore. If you wanna get fancy, you could do a two column layout hero section and you could talk to both men and women at the same time. For example, the section that, that I've created right underneath the main hero section could very well serve as a hero section as well. I would probably try to add a little bit more text onto each column, but it could definitely work as well. And finally, the third and last checkpoint is to have an easy and clear call to action for your visitors. Make it as easy as possible for them to take action. Hopefully with this video, you've learned that copycatting big whales isn't necessarily the best thing that you can do for your business. Let's face it, Sara is the biggest whale in the ocean. They can afford to loosen up and make silly mistakes like the ones that they're doing on their homepage because they are Sara and even though they don't know anything about building an optimized homepage, um, you know, they're still probably gonna beat revenues year after year because again, it's Sara that we're talking about. But since we're here to try to help you, uh, chances are that you're not running a company like Sara and yeah, just make sure that you use meaningful marketing strategies when you're setting up your online business. 
that's it for today's video. You can start using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder when you get Thrive Suite. There's a link in the description. Click it down below to learn more information. I'm Tony with Thrive Themes and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.